What's up, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy, Easy Tech Joe, and welcome to My Tool Media. Anyway, check this out, man. So today I got a nice little tool right here from Ansel. This isn't your typical hard line type of tools. This is a scan tool. Y'all ready to get into it? Let's go. So right here, I got a scan tool from Encel. Encel, um, they came to me and was like, hey, we got these tools, this and that. Now, I get a lot of emails from a lot of different companies, and I ignore probably 99.9.9% of them, okay? Um, but this one got my attention because this is the Encel uh, 6V Pro HD. HD standing for heavy duty. And so this is a scan tool for my heavy duty guys like myself. It's for um, automotive and heavy-duty trucks, heavy-duty light trucks, okay, agriculture uh, trucks, um, heavy, uh, e I'm sorry, agriculture equipment, um, like your construction equipment, um, buses, uh, Zuzus that I really hate working on. I know I'm not the only one. Uh, but so this is for my automotive and some of my heavy-duty guys right here, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some key features with you guys. And just straightforward, this is not an end-all, be-all. The reason why I say that is because if you're doing a heavy-duty type truck like myself, I work on freight liners, um, freight liners, Kenworths, Peterbilt's, Volvo and Mac, you know. These do, and we're going to cover it. These do actually cover some of those and engines, Cummins engines, Detroit's. But it's not an end-all, be-all. So if you're looking to do this as a profession, maybe on your own, in a field, in a field type of work, I definitely do recommend getting a laptop with the correct um, with the correct adapters and the correct VCI that you need to do that job. Like I said, I don't usually use these type of scan tools. I like to use the laptops, okay? But when they came to me and I saw that it was actually a scan tool for heavy-duty diesel techs like myself, I couldn't resist. So let's get into it, you know? We're going to see what this baby got and what it's all about. So I have been playing around with it a little bit. Um, right here, we have the power button right here. We have the HDMI type and type C charging ports right here, right? All right, and we have the other USB with the, I believe this is the SSD um, car drive right there for memory, okay? And let's cut this baby on. Hold that button down for a few seconds, bada boom. You know what I'm saying? And now it's coming on. And I found out that it really doesn't take a lot for this baby to come on. And why, uh, um, well, a lot as far as the timing, right? It doesn't take long for it to come on. Why this baby come on, let me show you, as you can see, bada boom. You know what I'm saying? As this come on, let me show you real quick what kind of adapters, what all comes in the case that like you see here. We got a big, heavy-duty case if you want to carry it around the field side of work. It's a big, heavy-duty case for protection, all that kind of good stuff, right? So what comes in the case, actually, you got your VCI right here that's actually Bluetooth capable. So let me find the cord, wherever that's at, wherever I put it at. Here we go. So you hook this up to your truck, hook this up to the VCI, and you can actually connect the scan tool Bluetooth um, to the actual VCI. And you also have a cord as well that I slid in here that you can actually hook to it as well. If you're not comfortable with doing the Bluetooth, you can actually do it via U USB or a Bluetooth. So that's pretty cool there. And you got your some of your adapters right here up top. I'm going to lay all this fall in. Bada boom. So we got some um, adapters for Benz, for Mercedes. We got some for some Detroit's. We got what we got? Volvo and Mac. Um... We got an OBD2 in here somewhere. We got cat. We got um, something. I don't even know what this is because I don't work on it, right? So it's a lot of different adapters for different types of engines. All right. We got your Detroit in here somewhere. Zuzu's. I'm familiar with that being a diesel technician, right? So you got different um, adapters for different situations, different trucks, different types of engines, right? So that's pretty cool. So check that out when you get a chance when you're actually buying this tool. Definitely want to make sure you're getting the right kind of adapters, okay? All right. So, like I said, you got some adapters in here for agriculture, for construction. Uh, I don't work on construction, so I don't really know too much about it. But let's get into the scan tool. 
So this scan tool right here, it runs like an Android phone. It's actually an Android 10.0 um, processor. So if you have a Samsung, if you're used to cell phones, this operates just like your cell phone. So it's very easy to work. We're going to go into the Encel app and bada boom. So now it's up and running. Got the diagnostics, the hot functions. We have the settings right here. We're going to go to demo so we can go through all of the settings and functions. All right. So it has your updates right here. So your updates, I don't think I can do it right now because I actually have to log into Wi-Fi. But when you actually first go into it, you're going to see it actually gives you a password and a username to log into. Now that information will be in the box when you first open it. So don't worry about that. They're going to give you that to get registered and get um, and get going. So let's go to hot functions. Okay. So you go to hot functions. This is where everybody wants to know. So right here, we have some ABS bleeding, right? We have a battery test, DPF regen, right? For all my diesel technicians like myself, it is DPF regen ready, okay? You got your headlights, your gears, your key programming. A lot of you ask questions about that. Your oil reset, injector work, right? Start and stop. Now, this is bi-directional, NOx. This is a bi-directional tool. So as you see, you got the door windows, the suspension, sunroof, all right? Bi-directional capable, right? So with that bi-direction, you can test, do different active tests to, uh, to different modules, different windows. Your window might break. You might need to test it, right? Different things like that. So that's pretty cool. Quick support. Let's go to quick support. So quick support is actually, um, it's like a IT in your scan tool, okay? You go to these people right here, and you can allow, they have a, a technical staff ready for you 24-7, and you can actually allow them to remotely go into your uh, diagnostic scan tool and help you out with a situation that you may be struggling with. Maybe it's not acting right. Maybe it's, you know, you got some kind of um, malfunctions going on. So that's pretty cool with that. Um, a lot of you who do this professionally, you know we have our separate IT guys that sit at a desk somewhere far, far off in the Neverlands, and you give them some kind of code, and they can get into your computer and actually fix what's going on to your computer. That's the same kind of ordeal. So that's pretty cool with that, right? You go to diagnostics, and as you can see here, you got your, your heavy-duty truck. We got your light truck, China truck. Heavy-duty, you see you got your Mac, your international. I'm only naming the, the ones that I'm familiar with, like all these other brands. I'm assuming these are probably some kind of construction brands, agriculture brands. So we got the Detroit, we got the Volvo, we got Padcar, we got Kenworth, right? Um, a few more other names I've never seen before. We got Zuzus, we got your light trucks, GM, Kia, Ford, Toyota. Oh, let me go back. Toyota, uh, what else we got? Audis, a few more other brands that I'm not familiar with because I'm not a car guy. Okay, China Truck. All right, your China brands, construction, here we go, construction, Volvo, Calipiter, um, Black Cat, some more brands I'm not familiar with because I don't work on those kind of uh, equipment. But if you do work on these kind of equipment, then you, you, you're more familiar with these names than I am. Aquaculture, John Deere, Engines, you got your Cummins, your, um, some more names that I don't know. All right, <laughs> and your ECUs. ABS, Allison's, Bendex, Wabco, Edens, right? So it's pretty well versed scan tool right here. And let's go over some some cool features right here. So let's go to um oh, let me press this again. And so you can actually record. So it has a camera back here on the back of the scan tool. The camera you can actually record, you can screenshot things. It's pretty cool. So check this out. So you can actually record. Bada boom, start now. And now I'm recording everything that I do on this scan tool. And that's really good because now if I have, if I'm uh, recording what I do, I show it to a customer or to whoever truck or car I'm working on, right? And now I can show them exactly what I did. Hey, the proof is in the pudding, right? Or let me stop that. You can screenshot, bada boom, right? So right here, it has your general codes and fault descriptions, a quick summary of what that code is dealing with uh, and what that code may, may be, right? It gives you kind of, it's not an end-all, be-all, but it do sets you, kind of set you in the right direction, you know what I mean? So that's pretty cool with that, guys. And this is pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? You got your basic functions, 
you got your um, diagnostics, you got your hop functions, data manager right here. And this is where you actually go to actually look at your images and the videos that we actually did, right? So now we're going to images, bada boom, you can see the screenshot that I took, right? This is the screenshot that I actually took. And now let's go back to video and you can see the screen recording that I took when I was actually recording myself just once. Where I was actually recording myself doing the work. And not only that, <laughs> I'm just finding out with y'all, it actually records what it hears too. So not only does it screen record, but it actually records audio. So that's pretty cool, right? So watch what you say about your customers. No more talking stuff about your customers, right? <laughs> so this is pretty cool, man. This is the Ancel V6 Pro, man. Check it out, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Like I said, it's not an end-all, be-all, but it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, a good little all-around scan tool. Now, this scan tool, it runs about $1,100. I'll put a screenshot of their website up here somewhere where you can actually see the website and what it looks like and what all it entails. Pretty decent website. Go check that guy. Go check that out. I'll have that linked into the description. But it's a pretty decent website. Like I said, it runs about $1,100, I believe, on sale. Uh, in the description, I will have a link into the description that they actually gave me. Uh, code Joe, okay? Code Joe, J-O-E. And they'll give you a $50 discount. And I think that lasts until um, next month on the 10th. So you're watching this past May the 10th, then the code is no longer valid, okay? Check these guys out, guys. Um, like I said, I will be doing some more testing on it, um, and but this is just my honest review and opinion on it, straightforward, straight out the box, you know, strictly facts. In my opinion, it's based on the facts. It's not an end-all, be-all, but, it, you know, it looks like a pretty decent scan tool. It's something to look into if you're interested. Like I said, be careful when you're looking up scan tools. You don't want to accidentally get the wrong scan tool, the wrong adapters for your truck and your vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with all of that. But let me know what you guys think about this, man. It's all right. It's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all yeah, know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff that YouTube would like to say at the end of the videos. And you know what it is. Be easy.